well, 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 if it isn't the coolest cat on the planet. Hello, hi there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Very exciting. This is like the second post in a row, of, I think consistently, at least I'm hoping so. I'm recording this voiceover uh, the same day I've um, posted my other most recent one. And so, you know, fingers crossed this will hopefully come out in the next, well, if eh, at this point it should be one week after I posted the other one because we're going to do this, we're going to be consistent. Anyway, I've just got another basic speed paint for you today because, yeah. Anyway, behind, so why, what is this? Why did we do it? Well, so you see, in my last video, I mentioned that I have developed a low-key obsession with comics currently. I started watching the channel Casually Comics um, during uh, quarantine because, you know, it was quarantine, we all needed things to do, and yeah, totally convinced me to actually try reading comics. I've, so as someone who loves art, I don't know why I didn't do it sooner, but yeah, now it's kind of just like snowballed. So yeah, this was meant to be a fake comic cover. It didn't really end up being that, it's just kind of like a cool poster. Now as for like the person in it, my other obsession during Wait, one of the obsession developed during quarantine is the um, interactive novel Fallen Hero Rebirth and we're really holding out for retribution, we're very excited for it. But yeah, so anyway, Scarab is my main MC in that, uh, her secret identity is Regan Klimovitsky, but yeah. Anyway, so the point is, we've got these two combined obsessions and they've just been snowballing over the last year because the world's burning. <laughs> But yeah, so that is that. That's why we made this. Um, I actually have like a really big collection of doodles um, of Reagan because if you follow like my art account on Instagram, you just know I just love her to death. Um, you, you'd think she wasn't even like from anything. Like, yeah, anyway, point is you can actually like track the character design process so maybe I'll throw those all together at some point because like it's it's just insane like if you ever just like like something and then you look back a little later and you're like this is this is unnecessary anyway let's actually talk about the art piece so I guess I should start with the color scheme because if I'm doing a full piece with Reagan colors always like a big thing I consider. I've actually done a few, I've got so many things I should just show everyone. I've done a few um, mock-up um, comic cover things before. Yeah, and the one uh, theme that's always running through them is that I really like using like this teal neon color with like, yeah, with a dark one at the top. Um, I think it's pretty much every example I have of a fake mock-up thing with Scarab in it. Yeah, I don't know why I choose it specifically. Actually, maybe I kind of do. So her, the, the suit she has, it has a mirror mask and yeah, the mirror helmet and the glassy stuff. It's purple. Her, her suit accents are purple, as you can see I'm putting in now. And it just looks really nice with the blue. And so that's that's how it goes. Uh, I think you'll find that I'm not very strategic um, in how I place things sometimes. At least not purposely. It's kind of like an instinct thing um, at this stage. But yeah, complementary colours and all that fun jazz. Great stuff. And underlighting is just fantastic. I don't know what to tell you. It's dramatic and it just really gets the villain persona across if that's what you are looking for. Um, but yeah, so this thing started as several thumbnails in my sketchbook. You can find the photos of those on my Instagram, which will be linked down below. But yeah, uh, so it started as two of them. I had like a whole series of like different issues. This was going to be like, I was, I don't really like this for a number one. This is, feels like a lot more of like a poster thing to me now. But yeah, point is I had a whole bunch of, bunch of different thumbnails. So you can maybe expect more things with Reagan of this nature. Yeah, so thumbnails in my um, sketchbook, and then I don't know if you can see it at the start, but I just took a photo of them and then started cleaning it up. We went through two cleaning phases with this, like we did like a digital thumbnail over the thumbnail and then we cleaned it up, and then they, no, I only really cleaned it up twice. Yeah, and then we just colour 
Um, there is no rhyme or reason to how I colour. I usually try to, like, go from dark and then add highlights and stuff, but I don't know. Sometimes it, like, doesn't turn out like that. And we just, yeah, we just go for it. That's really the method that we use. We just go for it. If things don't work, that is fine. We just cry about it and then try again. Yeah. Uh, honestly, this might be where I love you and leave you until the end because I just don't have a whole lot of commentary for this one. Besides, I also like don't really like how the buildings came out at the back. But yeah, anyway, I will see you at the end. Welcome back. Well, I'm back. I'm hoping you're just, you're, just, you're just still here. But yes, anyway, that's about it. Thank you for watching my dramatic re- it's not dr I mean, I wasn't dramatic. The music was dramatic. But yeah, anyway, thank you for joining me in watching this speed paint again. And yeah, I will hopefully see you next week. Anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, good morning or good afternoon or good night, whichever one it is for you, and I'll see you later.